Okay, this is our peanut planter come soybean planter. Um, we use this for planting both both uh, crops. As you can see, it's a John Deere Maxi Merge. Uh, we plant six rows. Um, we put two rows on a bed, 1.8 metre centres. We've built an end toe for this, so it's easily traversed up the road. It's too wide to go along the road. So uh, when we get to the farm, just a matter of letting the jack down. I take this out, drop that, and leave it on the ground. Go around, hook the tractor up, come back here, and I actually just pull this pin out of here. This whole apparatus just walks walk straight back, drop it on the ground and away I go. I don't lift it up because it's just extra weight to carry, so I just drop it in the paddock where I get to and away I go. This has its own radar on. The beauty of this is it's bolted onto the machine and that just hooks up into the cab and we've got, uh, we've got the controller in the cab that tells us exactly the seed count. It's got a little um, L LCD inside the um, inside the chute, the tube, and it will, it will read, count all the seeds dropping past it. And it relays that to your, to your controller in the cab. This is the gearing for the machine. We've got a, a, a lot of variation in the gear, gearing here. On the, on the driven side here, we can drop by one tooth all the way down this range. On this side, we can drop by four teeth. So, and then here we have a high and low range, so we can have infinite adjustment into seed, seed numbering. Um, to change, to change the gearing, it's quite a simple job of taking out one of these collars if we want to go up a range. We just drop that, slide that across, put the chain on there, and put this collar back on this side. And that's it, that's changed gears. It's quite simple to do. Driven by both, both wheels on both ends, actually. And it's got a little slip here, so if one's beating the other around corners or something, that just slips around. It's a vacuum planter, so we have a, a vacuum up here. Work on uh, for peanuts, we work on about eight to ten vacuum, depending on the size of the seed. The beauty of this is it's got the larger boxes, so especially for soybeans, this will go a, a heck of a long way. That double depth we gauge wheels here, so that in soft ground we can get a better, better flotation and a and more even travel traverse across the ground. Yep, the seed will fall down this chute here. The trench is open at that stage because you've got your disc open, two discs here turning around to open the trench. And you'll see here there's a little steel guide. That'll actually wipe the trench so that it keeps any debris out of the trench. Seed drops down. If you take that angle like that, your water injection is actually shooting straight in this way. It's a single stream coming out of here. And it will actually fall straight into the trench like that. You'll have your seed, whether it be a peanut seed or a, or a soybean seed, sitting in the bottom. The shot of water will come along and water straight over the top of that, so you get good inoculant dispersion over the, over the seed. And that's all you need. Then, then your press wheels come along behind, push dirt in and actually put some pressure on there to squeeze it down and get some, a good sealing of the plant. This adjustment here is to adjust your depth for your gauge wheels. So, and you see a dog bone in here sort of arrangement. So when you lift that, the wheel comes up to hit it. So that's how you adjust your depth in the, in the paddock. Soybean seed needs to be a maximum of 50 mil in the ground. So um, you need a nice seed bed to get that because if you've got real lumpy soil, you won't get coverage and sealing of the, of the seed. You'll end up with seed exposed and it won't shoot because it's not got dirt all around it. You need dirt around it and sealing up. Ideally, that's why it pays to prepare the ground beforehand. Um, if it's not going to rain, I think we have to plant it and then water it anyway, so get, get the water in straight behind the seed um, to get it to strike and get it away. Once you get it struck and it's away, well, I think you've got three quarters of the job done.